Don't look behind me. Don't look. Okay, listen, listen, listen. You ready? Here we go. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. All right, we got a special YouTube episode today. You got your boy, Josh Altman, and I'm here with my boy, Mike Gerald. Behind me is the newest Altman Brothers listing. We're here at One Island Vista, and Mike is the developer on this property behind us. You've done an insane amount of houses here, just in this community alone, right? In the zip code. How many? Roughly about like 27. <laughs> what? So 27 houses in this community. So we are in Pelican Crest. Pelican Crest, for those of you who don't know, this is like the Beverly Park of Newport Coast. Creme de la creme. So a little fun fact, Josh. This property, I was actually gonna move into it. So I bought the property with the intention of moving into it, and when I was specking the property, I actually specced it to my level. I wanted this to be like a forever home. Everything was done per my taste. It was not cool. done per spec. You know why I know that? I didn't see a bathroom in here out of all seven bathrooms. There's not one bathroom that's not just full slap. 156 slabs of marble in this house. You guys wanna check this out? Come on, let's go check it out. So we're on a cul-de-sac here, which is amazing, uh, which gives a lot of privacy because the people that are driving by are only the people who live on the street. That's it, and it's also double guard gated, so your garage, your subterranean, your front entrance, also double guard gated. I don't know if you noticed this, but there's a subtle detail up there. You see the G in the Old English font? That was custom molded for, of course, for my last name but the new owner will be able to get their own crest up. I like that, how cool is that? So you get your own crest right there, that's Mike. So he's gonna take that with him and he's gonna put that on the 28th house. This entrance for me and just even just the overall facade of the house, it, it feels super presidential. All of this cast iron uh, is all custom, of course, for the house. What caught my eye immediately when first walking through this house is the double entry. Typically, this is like your basic mansion entry right here. This has what I like to call a foyer and then a grand lobby. This is the foyer's foyer. <laughs> right? <laughs> Incredible chandelier. Don't this chandelier is probably 50,000 plus. The dual staircases, all slab. We have large format limestone from Portugal. It really does resemble like a hotel. There is actually an automatic piece that is attached to that insane chandelier. They're called Aladdin uh, chandelier lifters. Yeah. $14,000 a piece. We did one for each of them. They lower the chandeliers all the way down to the floor so you could clean them at ground level, turn a key, push a button, they go all the way back up. You never even know. This is one of the guest rooms on the first level. Now, we're not gonna show you all seven full baths throughout the property, but I wanna give you a little idea, especially we'll show the owner suite one, but. Just so you see here, because typically in a guest room like this, you would not see the stone throughout. This is all slab, all of it. I like to call this marble uh, the raspberry marble because if you look at it, there's bits and pieces of purple in it, yeah. and it just shows the character of the natural stone. But you know what I did for this house since we were buying mass quantity? You bought we, the whole we went to Italy and we chose them from the quarry. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, we I've cleaned never out the quarry. We had to get blocks. Wow. and ship them over and it took uh, three months. Do you understand what that is? You actually go to the... The mountain. The mountain. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I want that part of the mountain. Exactly. Yeah. No, that's exactly how it is. They take the blocks out. The blocks are as big as this room and then they just have this big machine and just start slicing them out. But that's how you're able to get the book match. Right. Because you need the same sequence from the blocks. There you go. So, you know, we chose to do all natural materials in the house. A lot of people are doing neolith, porcelain. For me, I'm old school, right? Yeah. So I think that if you're gonna be paying money for a house, you should have a natural material that's not gonna be replicated in other people's houses, right? So this countertop will never be in someone else's house. You and I, are, we're cigar guys, right? I put a uh, humidor in, custom humidor, all right? Built-in humidor right here. And we have a custom ice maker 
and a refrigerator. So basically the theme is everywhere you go in the house, you're gonna have a coffee maker, you're gonna have an ice maker, you're gonna have a refrigerator. When you wake up in the morning, you're gonna want some coffee, you're gonna want a drink from where you are and the house is pretty large, so we don't wanna have to walk to the kitchen every time to get a drink. So we're now in the formal dining. And what I like about this is, look, we have 12 seats right here you can actually very easily bring this up to a 16 person table. Dinner parties, yeah, not a worry. The furniture in here, by the way, is it is staged, but it is available for purchase. It's not included in the purchase price. We are on the market for $26,850,000, uh, but it is available. But come check this out, this is cool. So this is what Pelican Crest is all about out here. All right, you're looking at it right here. You got straight ocean view, which is beautiful. This is very, Typical for Pelican over here, which I love. You got the crisscross turf with the limestone, which is beautiful. You do have the hot tub below, which we're gonna see. And then we got a little surprise for you downstairs. And I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet. You gotta tune in, okay? I'm all about, hey, how big's your island? Good luck finding someone to clean the middle of it, right? I don't think you could reach. You know, you, you kind of don't think about it, but if you gotta clean the island, you kind of gotta get up here. That's how you clean the middle of this island. Oh my God. Josh, is that the first time on an island? That's the first time uh, in that position on an island. You're hired. <laughs> and you do have a matching balcony as well. So you do have a lot of outdoor space here uh, on top of the 11 and a half thousand square feet that currently are inside. This is very cool. First of all, do you, do you play piano? I do not, but the piano plays itself. I actually love this here. It's, it's just such a grand piece. I want you to comment below. What are the three things that get left in houses the most after a house sells? They either get included or the people just say, take it, I don't wanna move it. What are the three things that get left in houses after people sell? I'm gonna tell you when we get upstairs. Literally views from every room in the house. But not having a piece of real estate right here, not having a house in front of you, this actually feels like an extension of your property, even though it's not, but it feels like your backyard and it's common area, so you could use it if you want. It's great, so if you have uh, kids, which obviously this is a huge family neighborhood, that's a great place where you can play as well. Okay, what do you think the three things that get left the most at houses after you move? I already know the answers to this because, you know. I bet you you get one wrong. I bet you I get one wrong too. Piano, safes, Ooh, and I forgot about those. You forgot about yeah, that? You're Maybe right. you got one wrong. Yeah, there. I got one wrong. <laughs> uh, I don't know the last one. Pool tables and gym equipment. So that's actually four. You're okay. right. You're right. So there you go. So we did these crystals on this grid pattern that ties in with the front door and the ironwork throughout. And it is naturally daylit skylight and it has lights inside. So at night, when there's no sun out, yeah. this whole thing glows with LEDs. That's cool. So as you know, we spoke earlier about how the chandeliers lower to the ground. Come check this out, because this is what it looks like right here. So that's what it is. It's as easy as just turn the key up, down, there you go. All right, we're about to see one of the most insane primary suites. Come on. Look at this view. This is actually the best view in the house here, right off the primary suite, which is great. You can see all the way down to the harbor. You get the straight shot, unobstructed view of all of Catalina Island, as Mike likes to say, tip to tip. I have a real surprise for you, but you tell me what you think. What? Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I don't, I, I gotta know how many slabs of stone you have in here. 53 just in the bathroom. 53 slabs and they're all book matched in sequence. Okay, just so you see lengthwise, stay right there. Here we go. This is the master bath right here. Just so you see how big this is on camera. I'm still walking, I'm still in the bathroom. We're having like 10 conversations, we just reached the end. So this is all the book match. This is super impressive. As you see, the stone has been split and open like that, and that matches the entire way. It's just like stone on stone on stone. You even took the outline of the windows right here. Custom molding, CNC machine, custom milled uh, on the marble, all the details, even the base moldings. We have base moldings over here that's all that's all routed CNC. Oh my, nobody does this. This is stone moldings. I mean, the amount of time that must have gone into actually creating this type of stuff is crazy. And 12 and a half foot shower, linear drains, 10 shower heads, steamer unit, 
uh, party shower? I hold on. You have so many different options. You do have the Mr. Steam as well, which is nice. This is like the women's oasis, right? Okay. So I want to give the man a few things. You want to see what I gave the man in this one? Wait, we, we get something? We get something. Okay. No, 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 we get something, okay? I built it in. First of all, you get this really cool urinal. Okay, how many yes. houses have a urinal, right? Yes. Right, instead of a bidet, you could do the bidet on the, on the toilet. But the urinal, that's next level, right? Yes. And then the second party favor is right in this room right here. So we got three mega, mega sinks. Whoa! You had to crane these in. Yeah, these were, this was tough. But I figured, you know what? Let's just do it because the people who buy this house, they're gonna have jewelry, they're gonna have something. Put Birkin up. bags, Birkin whatever bags, it is. Here, go. here you go. I love that, that's very cool. And then check this out. And don't tell my wife I showed you this. Oh, <laughs> what do you think of this? What? Look at the size of this closet. Are you kidding me? This is like a garage, right? This is like a, bigger than a bedroom. External balcony, if you wanna have some coffee in the morning. Internal balcony, Josh. If someone's leaving, you're leaving to work, you know, your wife's getting ready up here, you know, you call up to her. Uh, the house is so big right here. You just open the door, you say, bye honey, you know, I and, like and that's that. it. I like that. That's the buy honey balcony. All the details, the little details that you won't get anywhere else. Again, you get all cleave. Uh, this is Italian product. Everything's lit up inside with LEDs. Uh, we did a fair balance between clothing, shoes, and bags. We have full length mirrors on both sides. Remember I was telling you, everywhere in the house has the ability to like have refrigeration, ice, ice coffee. coffee. So we got the mealies, we got three mealies in the house. Three mealies, we got refrigerators. You don't have to leave your master or your primary suite to go anywhere. You wanna check out the elevator? We modernized the cab. So nice, simple, we carried the stone in directly so it, it, it blends directly in with the flooring. Uh, you have a mirror on top, which I thought was like a cool touch. And uh, this travels from one, two, and three. We'll meet you downstairs. We just took the elevator straight down to the bottom entertaining level. All right, we're gonna start. You, you guys know I collect cars, I love cars. Well, guess what? So does my boy Mike. You know, you got some classics in here. You got the Mustang. Look at this caddy. This is like what your grandfather drove back in the day, but in way better condition. 79, yeah. What do you think? This is the year I was born, 1979. I kind of love it. We might be making a deal here. Look, Josh, when you have a party, right? And you have two refrigerators upstairs, which is pretty big, right? Yeah. But you're like doing catering and you have like cakes and everything. I thought about everything. So I said, why not just put a commercial grade true refrigerator in the garage? So we thought about everything. There's a lot of stuff in here. We have the central vacs, we have the dehumidifier, we have everything down here, but we went all the way up to the ceiling. We did the lighting plan and there's definitely enough storage for Christmas trees, for decorations, for boogie boards. Look at that. I mean, you built out the entire garage. If you park them correctly, you could get eight cars in here, which is nice. And of course, you know, plenty of parking for your friends out front. All right, well, here's the moment. Don't look behind me. Don't look. Okay, listen, listen, listen. You ready? Here we go. Let me show you the in door pool cue the dope music yes mic drop game over that's what this is how epic is this indoor pool and i can tell you the first thing that i'm thinking right when i walk in here is it doesn't even smell like a pool we have the dehumidifier the dectron yeah that was like a hundred grand uh, maintaining 55% relative humidity with the pool heated. So you can heat this up to 104 degrees if you wanted to. This could be a giant hot tub, uh, but this is actually an incredible entertaining space. Another thing wow. is that even though we're in the basement, we're naturally daylit. We're actually open up to the outside. So you have all that natural light that comes in. So what I call this is the wellness center, right? Okay. So you have bathroom, steam room, you have dry sauna. We did a bench all the way around the entire pool because I figured that if we're gonna have a party in here, yeah. we're not gonna be swimming in No, you know, you're, not, you're not Michael You could fit out here. people all around this pool. It's a lounging pool. It is deep still. You got the big, big screen TV, 
uh, your bartenders back here. You got the ice makers, the dishwashers, the refrigerators, the sink. The way that you design this for entertaining is just incredible. Check that out. So this is cool. You get the game on, you're in the pool, but look at how thin this TV is. Frame TV. That's actually the thinnest frame TV I've seen. You know what another thing is? There's a window, preview window in the sauna. So when you're in the sauna, you could watch TV. So you're not just sitting in a, in a, a wood room. We have the massage room on that side. We have the exercise room on this side. This is great, right? I mean, you could at least put like six, seven people in here easy. I mean, what else would you want? When you're entertaining, you have your barbecue here. You have your fire pits, you have your fountains, but by far, this is the best view in the house. You wanna see the money shot? Come this here. is the money shot right here. Yeah. And I've actually had an NBA player basically say that when he sat here and he looked back at this house, this made him feel like he made it in life. So when I show it, I will see you here after I see your proof of funds. And we're gonna, we're gonna look at it from right here and you're gonna look at me and say, you know what, Josh? I think I want it. Let's make a deal. The backyard's well balanced. You have privacy, you have ocean view, you have grass, you have turf. What more could you ask for? Nothing. You cannot ask for anything more. Literally, you couldn't ask for anything more. We just hit the market. You're the first to see One Island Vista, Pelican Crest, best of the best gated communities here in Newport Coast. My boy, Mike Jero. Check it out. Check the video out. If you want to see it, hit me up, email me, text me, call me, DM. Just do some smoke thing or something. I will see it and I will get you in. One, two, three, let's go.